Today we're going to troubleshoot the Sutner foaming bottle. Some of the problems you may encounter with any foaming bottle is blockages. Sutner foaming bottles, like anything else, do need a slight amount of maintenance. The first thing you may find is the foaming bottle may become blocked completely. This will be usually caused by some amount of debris in the injector or orifice in the base of the foaming bottle. In this instance, you will pull the trigger, you will get no water flow, no foam, no chemical through the gun whatsoever. Most foaming guns will have either a quarter inch quick connect in the end of them, a KW quick connect fitting, or M22, whatever the case may be. We need to remove that. In the base, we, have a, we take a flat screwdriver, simply Turn anti-clockwise. And remove the injector. In the injector with a very small hole, the best thing that we can actually do is turn the injector over and using a small pin, tip cleaner, piece of wire, whatever you may have, is actually push any debris back out from the backside and you'll probably find it'll dislodge any dirt or sand that is stuck in the injector. Then all we do in reverse, is simply screw the injector back in in a clockwise direction and a problem should be solved. One of the symptoms of knowing that your foaming pad needs replacing is having poor foam quality. That poor foam quality will often be signified by having a drizzly bit of soapy water run out the base of the injector rather than one nice clean flow of foam. These foam pads can also become blocked from leaving old chemical in the gun if it doesn't get used too often and the old chemical can actually dry and harden and it will crystallise and cause similar effects of being blocked with debris. The easiest removal of this base of the injector is done with a fitting hooked into the back of the foamer. In this case we'll remove the tiny grub screw from the side set it aside and then we can simply pull might add a little bit of a wiggle and we pull this whole entire piece out there is definitely no need to separate this black plastic piece from the stainless steel piece leave that as is as you may break it the foaming pad is what actually will help with creating good foam an old foaming pad may look like such, where it's got old chemical, tiny bits of debris through it, a hole from pressure. These are a serviceable item, they are a replaceable item, they are available on the NERDA website or from your local dealer. They're a very small cost to, to keep your system maintained in good working order. You've got two options. One, you can take that foaming pad out and try and clean it, soak it in some truck wash, some water, blow it out with air, and possibly turn it back around and place it back in. They do become destroyed, destroyed over a period of time, so the best answer is new foaming pill, simply placed in the end. When we refit the injector, we can see that we do have two O-rings around the injector. One thing I like to always do is place a small amount of silicon grease or lubricant around the o-rings keep them lubricated then we simply line up the hole on the side of the injector body with our grub screw hole push it back in all the way take our phillips grub screw and re-tighten